Hello YouTube, welcome to my video on creating an OS 10.11 USB stick installer. The first thing you're going to want to do is pop yourself over to the App Store. That's um, available if you have an OS version above 10.7. You need to click on to the uh, El Capitan link. It should be, at the time of making the video, it should be right on the first page. Click on Download. Once you've clicked down and you can check on the progress on the purchased page. Um, I think if you've got problems with your DNS settings it will take an age to download. Uh, have a look at them and um, if it is taking you a long time and that should solve any problems. Next thing you can do is get a USB stick and uh, put it into an available USB drive. Then you need to go on to a disk utility. You need to format the drive. And that was a very important point to point out to you. That um, I'm going to use the word untitled for the name of my disk. It makes it nice and easy. Ensure that you haven't got any other disks in your drive called untitled. Um, for some people, for some reason, have their hard drive uh, labelled as entitled. Change that. Uh, make sure that it's got a different name. Otherwise, you could end up uh, overwriting files on an important disk. Right, once you're in disk utilities, click on your USB drive. The next thing you need to go to is partition. Once you're on partition, you need to select the button saying that you want it as one partition. Um, you need to change it to um, Apple Journaled. Then click on the options button and choose the um, GUID partition map. If you don't do this, the drive will not be bootable. Um, OK all of that. accept all the um, warnings that it's telling you, press OK. You see the little blue bar, that's an indicative of the progress that is being made from formatting, um, well, partitioning your drive. Once that's done, you are um, hot to trot. You need to click on the drive. This is the point where I didn't call it untitled, um, I've had to delete the one. Right, once that's done, click back into your applications folder. You need to go into utilities and uh, go to the terminal command. Right, what you see next is, is what you need to type. I'm not going to say it out to you. If you look in the video description, you'll see exactly what needs to be typed. The easiest way for you to do this will be to simply copy that from the video description and paste it directly into Terminal. It should work, no problems. Especially if you've named your drive Untitled. You've got another drive called Untitled. I can't see there being any issues.
Once you've actually typed that and uh, pressed enter to run the command, it actually takes uh, quite a bit of time for the um, for the files to copy over. I've sped up this video. You can see the clock. That should give you an indication of how long it's going to take. Uh, this was done on a MacBook Pro with uh, USB 2.0. Um, hopefully, if you've got a newer Mac um, with USB 3.0, it should take a lot less time. As you can see it took 34 minutes and 30 seconds for this to copy on my MacBook Pro. Once that's done click on it you should see that it's got uh, the installer on the USB stick. But the next thing we're going to do is test to see if it was bootable. This is my 2008 MacBook Pro. It's a little bit worse for wear. It's um it's had a hard life. It's the oldest MacBook that will run um, El Capitan. What you need to do is uh, put your USB stick into your port. Once that's done, you need to power on the MacBook whilst holding the Option or Alt key. It will go onto the grey screen and. Um, Next thing you'll be faced with is a selection of using of choosing which drive you want to uh, boot from. If everything went right, you should have a uh, the El Capitan boot disk there. Click on that, and then uh, let your Mac do its magic and uh, boot up. I filmed this in real time. Um, in actual fact, it's it's quite a snappy machine. It it seems slow in booting up, but uh, it's probably due to uh, the limitations of USB 2.0 as opposed to uh, the the MacBook itself being slow. And there we have it. Success. You've uh, successfully booted the installer. Um, the rest is all up to you. Um, Installing it is just going to be a simple case of uh, following the commands um, and you're done. Many thanks for watching the video. I hope it's been of some use to you. Uh, please check out my other videos. I've finally got a microphone. I'm hoping that the uh, quality of this has improved over a few of my last videos. Please leave a comment, a like, uh, share it if you want. It'd be nice to have some feedback. Um, let us know if there's any other videos you want to see with some general Mac tips, um, tours around classic hardware, etc. And again, thank you very much.